Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. As you may know, Valentine's Day is just around the corner, so I wanted to show you guys two different makeup looks. One is a cute makeup look that's perfect for a day date. The second one is a sexy makeup look, which is perfect for an evening or night date. Both are really easy to achieve, so if you're looking for a makeup look this Valentine's Day, keep watching. Show me some love this Valentine's Day and make sure you click subscribe below to stay updated with future videos. For the cute look, I'll be applying my Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. This primer has a nice sheen to it and makes the skin look glowy. For the sexy look, I'll be applying my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Now moving on to foundation for the cute look, I'll be applying my Lancome Miracle Cushion Compact in Rose Beige. This is a really easy cushion foundation to apply and it has a nice natural finish. For the other look, I'll be applying my Shantakai Future Skin Foundation in Cream. I'm going to dot it all over my face first, then blend it out with a beauty blender. Moving on to concealer, for both looks I'll be using the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Canel. I'm going to start off by concealing under my eyes for the cute look. I'm not going to apply a lot of product because I want a really natural finish. For the sexy look, I'm going to apply a lot more product and use it to conceal and highlight. Then I'm going to blend it in with my beauty blender. For the sexy look, I'm also going to do a little bit of contouring using the Smashbox Contour Sticks. I'm going to apply the highlight shade first and then go in and sculpt my face using the contour stick. Then I'm going to blend it in with my Beauty Blender. To set both looks, I'll be using my By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. This is a really nice fine powder. It's great for large pores because it helps to smooth out the skin. Next, I'm going to go in with my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in deep and just set the contoured areas for the sexy look. Now let's move on to brows. I'll be using the Kevin Aquan Precision Brow Pencil in Brunette. And for my cute look, I'm going to make my brows look a little bit straighter because I feel like it softens up the face by doing this. I like to use small feathering strokes, then use a brush to blend the colour forward. For the sexy look, I'm going to keep my eyebrows quite arched, so I'm going to fill them in using small strokes and then again use that same brush technique to bring the colour forward. I'm also going to use my Smashbox highlighting stick to carve out my brows and make the shape look sharper. Now I'm ready to move on to eyes. I'll be applying Beloved from the Pony Effect Eye Unlimited Cream and I'm going to use my fingers to pat that colour onto my lid. It's a really nice pink colour with a bit of pearl and sheen. Then I'm going into my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and I'm going to mix Candy, Peach and Georgia together and use that to blend out my crease and blend in that cream colour I applied before. I'm also going to run a little bit of that colour onto my lower lash line. Then I'm going to tight line my waterline with this nice champagne colour from Pony Effect. Next I'm going to use my Maybelline Lovable Big Eyes and just add a little bit of highlight into my inner corner. This is like a liquid liner. Then I'm going to line my eyes with the Zoeva Graphic Eyes Eyeliner. I'm going to stay really close to my lash line and then just smudge that liner out with a small brush. 
Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. This is the Kevin Aquan Volume Mascara. I'm going to start off by applying it onto my lower lashes first and then to my top lashes. For false lashes, I'll be using a style called Empower from Petite Cosmetics. As some of you may know, this is my own brand I'm working on at the moment. I'm going to come out with a line with lashes specifically designed for hooded and small eyes. So please make sure you stay tuned for more information and release dates. For the sexy look, I'm going to go into Puree and apply that all over my lid. I'm just using windscreen wiper motions back and forth to blend that color out. I'm also going to run it along my lower lash line to connect the look up. Then I'm going to grab the shade Summer Yum and just work it into my outer corner to create some depth. I'm going to do the same with my lower lash line. To add a little bit more colour and dimension, I'm going to blend in Delectable on the outer corner. Then pop a little bit of nectar in the inner corner to highlight. And using my finger, I'm going to grab that candy peach colour again and just pat it on all over my lid. I'm ready to line my eyes with my Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner. I'm going to stay really close to my lash line and just extend the outer and inner corner of my eyes to make my eyes look more elongated. I'm also going to add a little bit of that liner to my lower lash line in the inner corner to make my eyes look more cat eye. Then I'm going to apply a generous amount of mascara. And apply two pairs of lashes this time. It's just the same style doubled up on top of each other. This will make the look a bit more dramatic and make my lashes look thicker. And that's the sexy eyes done. I'm ready to move on to lips. I'm going to do a gradient lip using this nice pink color Kushi Aniki from Urban Decay. And I'm going to pop that color into the center of my lips first, then use my fingers to blend it out. Once it's blended out, I'm going to use the same color and apply it to the center again to create the gradient. For the sexy look, I'm going to do a nice bold lip using Venom from Urban Decay. And for blush today, for the cute look, I'm going to be going in with the NARS Jewel Intensity Blush in Frenzy. I'm going to use both colors as a blush and highlight. Finally, for the sexy look, I'll be using the NARS Unfiltered Blush Palette. I'm going to use the peachy colour in the middle and the first shade to highlight. So that's both looks. Let me know which one you prefer. Are you more of the cute makeup look or the sexy makeup look? Which one will you be sporting this Valentine's Day? I don't know what I'll be wearing. I guess it depends on where Alfred's taking me this Valentine's Day. Hmm. Anyways, that's it to this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated with future videos. And if you want to see any other makeup looks, please let me know below and leave a comment. That's it for now. I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.